So today, I'm going to show you how to roll back just about any Steam game. I mean, roll it back to a previous version. And the reason you might want to do this is because when there's an update, it sometimes breaks your game. Especially, and probably only, if you've got mods attached to it. Now, you can download mods from the workshop on with this game. Uh, the devs don't mind that at all, but they're not concerned about updating the mods. They're concerned about updating the game, and when they update the game, they don't bother about the mods. So, I think my game's not working because some of the mods aren't compatible with the new version, which is 1.47. That's the latest version. And the date is, Alexa, what's the date? It's Sunday the 23rd of April. Thank you. You're welcome. Isn't she nice? So, it's Sunday, and it's April. And we've just had an update and it broke this one the american simulator and it's also broke this it won't work because of the mods i've got with it now i can either wait until the people who create the mods fix that or until the developers of the game fix it which might never happen or i can fix it myself and that's what i'm going to do and you can do this with most games like i said some game companies are a little bit clingy about the games and they don't like you backdating the games but this one's okay first of all you need to go to view Scroll down to settings, and in settings, you'll get, see this, right underneath account, you'll get beta participation. Now, I've got that, I've selected Steam beta update. If it's not, if it already says that, then you're good to go. If it doesn't, then you need to change it to that, because you'll probably have it on none, opt out of all beta programs. Select Steam beta update, and click OK. I'm going to click cancel, because I've already done that. And it will update, and it will restart. Now, once it's restarted, go to your game, which is broke, which is this one. Go down to properties. Go to beta. There's beta. And as you can see, Oculus 1.47. We don't want that at all. So what we're going to do is look for the previous version. And it even tells you with this that there's a previous version, 1.46. We're going to select that. And we're going to close that little box and it will start to update. Look, it's updating there. Now, this takes a little bit of time. So, I'll just edit this bit out. There we are, all up to date. So, I've rolled that back now. I'll show you. So it's rolled back to 1.46, which is better than the one which was before, because it didn't work with the one before. So we'll just start the game up and see if it runs. And like I said, you can use this with a, quite a lot of games. I don't know many, because I haven't tested them all. Can't test them all, can I? Uh, I know that Grand Theft Auto doesn't work using this method. And there is another method, which I'll have to do a video on, but not today. Here we go. See, it's telling me it's been, there's a new version. We know all that crap. I'm going to continue my game with my saves. Look, it's getting all upset here about... It might crash. Oh, yeah. Well, that was before. This should work, hopefully. So before it did this... And then it crashed back to the desktop. That's what was happening every time. Let's see if it happens this time. Because the only alternative is to start a new game with a new profile. There we go. And I don't want to do that. Because that's a shit idea. Let's drive. Here we go. Oh, it's raining. Oh, mouthful. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm broke down. Anyway, look, teddy bear. Have I got anybody with me? No. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere, am I? My engine's broke. Anyway, that's another story. But that's how you get the game going. That's how you roll it back. Wasn't that a piece of piss? I'm going now. Bye.